we're now going to talk about how we can look at a polynomial function and recognize its properties. And in this case, the properties that we really, 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 really care about are the, the degree, let's start with that, then what I was about to write, the leading term, and finally, the leading coefficient. It can also be helpful, so I'm going to add one more, to find the constant term of the function if it's present. And so we're going to start with an example. We've got f of x equals 5x to the fourth minus 2x plus 7. And as long as it's written in standard form, it's really easy to find the degree. We just look at the first term, and that gives us our 4. So our degree is 4. Our leading term is the term with that degree, so that's the 5x to the fourth. Notice I'm grabbing the whole piece of it. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of that term, so that's a 5. And finally, the constant term is the degree 0, or the one that's missing in x, and so that's a 7. So here's our properties of this particular polynomial function. Well, let's look at another one just to make sure we get this. Oops, there we go. g of x is 7x squared minus x plus 1. So in this case, we're going to start again with the degree. And our degree is 2. Our leading term is the degree 2 term, which is the 7x squared. The leading coefficient is the coefficient of that term. So that's a 7. And the constant term is the term that is a constant, which is a 1. Now let me just be clear about something. Suppose we had one more function. Let's say h of x equals 7x cubed minus 5x. So our degree is 3. Our leading term is 7x cubed. The coefficient for the leading term is 7, but we don't have a constant term. So the constant term is, in fact, 0. We're not adding anything to it, so that constant term is a 0. And that's how we can find the constant term if there's no constants there. But that's how we find our properties.